The Noctua NH-D12L is the latest release from the well-known Austrian company. This CPU cooler is designed to offer a good clearance and to fit into a mini ITX case, all this without making a compromise when it comes to CPU cooling. However, that's what all CPU coolers are made to do, and all of them do that, with various degrees of competency. However, is the NH-D12L better or worse the high price tag? We shall see in this review. The NH-D12L was launched in April of 2022 with an MSRP of 90 US dollars. This CPU cooler is made to fit in between the NH-U12A and the NH-U12S, and it offers even more options in terms of clearance as it has a height of just 145mm and can use up to three 120mm fans. The design of the NH-D12L is reminiscent of the NH-D15 as it has a dual tower heatsink design and the usual silver and tan color. In addition, the heatsink towers are not symmetrical, but more on that later. The NH-D12L is priced right now at the same price it had on launch day, 90 US dollars. Actually, it's around 89.95 US dollars, but anyway. For this price, you get a lot. This is a CPU cooler that can fit inside the 4U rack mount server case, has a 5-year warranty, the best mounting system to ever grace our eyes, and the Noxia beige and tan color combination, among the constant technical support and constant updating of the mounting system if a new socket is available. The heatsink of the NH-D12L has a dual tower design, and the towers are not the same size. This is done for one simple reason – memory clearance. Thus, if you have tall RAM memory modules at the front, you can just rotate the heatsink so that the larger part of the heatsink will face the back and thus will fit with your tall RAM modules. Even though these heatsink towers are different in size, they use the same number of aluminum cooling fins – 38 per tower. The size of the cooling fins are bent downwards. This is done as usual to increase the structural rigidity of the heatsink and to create a channel for the airflow to go through. Apart from this, all sides of the cooling fins are smooth to the touch, reflecting the high quality of the CPU cooler. To move the heat away from the CPU, the NH-D12L uses no less than 5 nickel-plated copper heat pipes, each of these having a 6mm outer diameter and is soldered to the base plate of the CPU cooler. The endings of the heat pipes are almost symmetrical in shape and are good enough to not disturb the look of the CPU cooler. The metallic surface of the heatsink has the same issue as any CPU cooler using this type of metal heatsink. It's a fingerprint magnet and whatever you do unless you're wearing gloves, you will leave some marks on it. Fortunately, you can easily clean it afterwards. The base plate of the NH-D12L is made from the same nickel plated copper material as the heat pipes. This base plate has the same level of quality as the base plate used on the high-end models such as the NH-D15 or the NH-U12A. It has a smooth surface which has a close to a mirror-like finish reflection. The included fan is a Noctua NF-A12X25R PWM. This model of the fan is using an elongated frame pretty much the same design as the fan found on the NHD15. This fan uses the Noctua SSO2 bearing system and has a minimum speed of 450 rpm and a maximum speed of 2000 rpm. The cable of the fan is long enough to reach the fan headers that are around the CPU socket of the motherboard. To lower the noise of the CPU cooler, this fan has rubber pads on all corners of the fan frame. This will dampen the vibrations generated by the rotation of the fan and prevent the heatsink from being scratched. Now that we know what the CPU cooler is meant to do, let's see what is included with it. And as usual, for a Noctua CPU cooler, all accessories are packaged in a separate box. You get two user manuals, a Philips screwdriver, an extra pair of fan clips to install a second fan if you want, a tube of Noctua NTH1 thermal compound, a metal backplate, backplate studs, plastic stud clips, two set of mounting arms, a low noise adapter, a case badge, and the parts of the Secufilm mounting system, which includes plastic spacers, double threaded inserts, mounting nuts, and so on. The installation process is easy, as we are working with one of the best mounting systems on the market. First, you take the backplate and insert the studs into the correct spots for your CPU socket. Then you secure the studs into the backplate with the plastic C-clips. You attach the backplate onto the back of the motherboard and at the front of the CPU socket you place the correct plastic spacers. Over those, you place the mounting bars and secure them 
with the mounting nuts. Finally, you apply the thermal compound on the CPU and install the heatsink over the mounting arms, lining up the spring-loaded screws with the threaded insert of the mounting arms. You then install the fan in the desired location on the heatsink and that's about it. In total, you shouldn't need more than 2-3 minutes to install the CPU cooler in a regular system. And with the CPU cooler installed, we get to see just how small the NH-D12L is. Sure, it's not a mini ITX CPU cooler that uses an 80mm fan, but it's not large either. And thanks to the shape of the heatsink and the reduced dimensions, we have excellent clearance when we talk about the RAM slots of the motherboard. While for the graphics card, we get around 26mm of space between the graphics card and the sides of the heatsink. However, the space between the cooler and the graphics card will vary based on the motherboard you use, as some have a different layout for the PCI Express slots. Before we test the CPU cooler, you will get to hear a noise sample of the CPU cooler with its fan running from either the dead stop or the minimum RPM available and up to its maximum speed. I am doing this because while a decibel value is useful for comparison, it does not consider additional noise sources such as vibrations, bearing ticking and so on. With a single 120mm fan running at a maximum speed of 2000 RPM, the Noctua NH-D12L reached a maximum noise output of 41 decibels with the measuring device placed at the standard distance of 10 cm from the CPU cooler and the system. The testing of all CPU coolers, unless otherwise stated, is done with an Intel i9-9900K CPU which is running at both its factory turbo boost frequency and then it is manually overclocked to 5GHz on all cores. The ambient temperature is set at a fixed 26 degrees Celsius or 78.8 degrees Fahrenheit. The first test uses the Intel Burntest V2 benchmark, a synthetic benchmark that will simulate a CPU load that is similar in severity with what you will get when playing a modern AAA video game. And in this test, the Noctua NH-D12L reached a maximum temperature of 64 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 56 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory turbo boost frequency. Quite a good result from such a small CPU cooler, and this value matches the performance of several good CPU coolers coolers such as the Silverstone Hydrogon D120 ARGB. However, the next test is where each CPU cooler is pushed to its limits, some even beyond that, as this test uses a system stability test benchmark of the AIDA E64 Extreme software. This test places an unrealistically high load on the CPU, something which you will never encounter in your daily usage. In fact, the only thing that comes close to this level of CPU load is heavy video rendering or 3D rendering with the CPU as the only rendering unit, and in this test, the Noctua NH-D12L reached a maximum temperature of 87 degrees Celsius with the CPU overclocked to 5 GHz on all cores and 63 degrees Celsius with the CPU running at its factory turbo boost frequency. This performance level is surprising for such a small CPU cooler, matching large coolers including the Deepcool AK620, which uses a larger heatsink and two fans. For a mini ITX system, this CPU cooler will be the choice from a performance standpoint. In addition, thanks to its single 120mm fan, the Noctua NH-D12L is reasonably quiet, especially in an enclosed case. All this being said, this cooler is not cheap, with a price of 90 US dollars. It's a hard sell for many people, especially since many of them do not want the beige and tan color combination and many of them want full addressable RGB LEDs. Mind you, these shortcomings do not take away from the fact that the NHD12L is one of the best CPU coolers right now with a height of under 146mm. The build quality is great and on the same level as the Noctua NHD15 or the NHU12A, with a good surface on the base plate, good plating on the heat pipes and smooth edges on all cooling fins. The mounting system is also great and I'll keep saying this until someone else decides to make a better one or at least something that will match it in terms of ergonomics. The Noctua NH-D12L is best for a small form factor system that uses a higher than average TDP CPU, and that's the end of it. If you want to use this CPU cooler inside a larger system, you can, but you are wasting your money, as you can just buy a cheaper CPU cooler that will perform just as well, but will be larger and noisier. 
If you like this review, then you might consider subscribing for more, and if you want to support me in a direct way, then in the description below you will find the links for both the Patreon and the Subscriber Star pages of this channel.